Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Today I'm at the beautiful high-end luxury community known as Anaqua Springs Ranch. Now this community is located right between where 1604 is and I-10 and Bernie, Texas. So just off Bernie Stage Road, absolutely wonderful location if you want to be in near the high-end shopping of La Quintera. When I say high-end, I'm talking about the Louis Vuitton, the Neiman Marcus. Those are the caliber of stores that are there. And you got all these other stores, uh, the Dominion. If you're wanting a uh, high-end luxury area, this is the part of the San Antonio area you want to be in. Anyways, the house we're going to be touring today is built by Diamante, which is a really nice high-end custom home builder. It was built for somebody else, but then life happened. So now it's back on the market and pretty much ready to move in. So uh, let's go check out this beautiful home. Diamante is a wonderful custom builder in this area with a great reputation. They have high-end finishes and they really know how to do a house upright. This kind of shows you the community here a little bit. The, you're gonna have quite a bit of privacy, beautiful oak trees. And I definitely love the horseshoe driveway as you come in. And speaking of driveways, this little feature is kind of neat. This is your main entrance. But the driveway kind of goes around and down. You got this little covered area because there's, well, there's nothing worse than having to uh, get out in the rain to offload your stuff. So you got this nice little breezeway. And I'm, I'm hesitant to call this a full casita because that implies a guest house. However, this is a perfect guest bedroom for those. Uh, short-term or long-term guest that um, just need a bed, a closet, and a bathroom because that's what this is. Perfect place for your bed right here. They still have the beautiful eight-foot doors, pre-done for TV, and a decent-sized closet for someone staying here on the short-term, and a full bathroom. But you can already see some of the high-end finishes that Diamante puts in to include gorgeous windows, nice fixtures, like check out that light, and the full shower even in the guest house or they've got the tile going all the way up to the top and the inset tile there. Beautiful. All right, let's go check out. I want to show you the garage here a little bit, or at least the walk down to it. Because you kind of just go right down this hill and you have your beautiful three car garage. Like I said, that, that's definitely an upgraded garage than you'll see in any production homes. So this is a custom home and they've put a lot of effort in the details. Speaking of which, I haven't really shown you what's all up here. That's kind of cool. You do have a separate entrance coming in. So if it's raining, you don't have to go through the main entrance. You can go through here. And you got a little mud room to put shoes, your bags. Perfect secondary entrance to the house. So let's go to the primary entrance and go check out this beautiful home built by Diamante. All right, we do have a Diamante sales rep that's gonna give us our own personal guided tour of this beautiful home. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jason. Welcome to this beautiful, luxurious Diamante home. Thank you. Yes, would you like me to tell you more about the house? Sure, tell us about the house and then we'll go on the tour. Okay, great. Well, it's a 5,317 living space, you know, home and um, it's still being finished, so it's still being completed. It's about 95% completed. And, uh, and here is the foyer. Let's check out this foyer. Look, when I mentioned the high-end features of Diamante, check out these light fixtures that they put in and notice the detail in the ceiling. I mean, just de definitely has some wild wow factors. If you had a small little piano or something, this is where I would put it, or even a big piano. You got plenty of room there. Definitely. But, but wow, check out the room. And can't talk highly enough about the tile selection that they have in here. This room is absolutely gorgeous for giving that wow factor right when you walk in the door. Yes, thank you. And notice the margin windows and doors. They're very high-end, 
high level doors, very energy efficient. Right, these windows are beautiful. And we did use zip board, you know, so, I mean the home is extremely well built, it's extremely energy efficient. Um, what else? It has five bedrooms and five and a half baths, so every single bedroom in the house has its own bathroom. And this house is for sale right now, and like she said, it's 99% done and almost ready to move in. Yes. What is the current asking price as of 16 July 2021? I have to say the date because things change through time. So this is going to be on YouTube for a while, but as of now, what is the asking price of this house? So it was listed at 1.6 and it is now currently listed at I believe 1.5. 1.57. 1.57. So if you're in a market for a house and you might go, well, that's quite a bit, wait until you see this house. Yes, and it has, I mean, when you walk in, you get that beautiful view of our infinity pool, and it was built by our company Proline Pools. All right, let's go check this out. Just the view from, from the main living area. Wow. Well, this isn't even the main living area. This is just your entrance. Yes. I was like, this is pretty cool. All right. Yes, and so on one side we have the master. Um, so we'll go ahead and see the study, the master, and we'll see this side first, and then we'll go see the other side. Sounds good. All right, this is a study. Got the beautiful high end French doors, and definitely got the tall ceiling in the study with the hand scraped wood floors just beautiful so you can definitely be sitting here at your desk and see everything that's going on but shut out the world if you need to be productive and Look. Solid double doors. Mm -hmm. then we have here the the half bathroom which is also the pool bath all right now i love the uh, the floating counter space really nice I love the access to this. Something a little different that we noticed. <laughs> uh, Jennifer asked me to kind of sit and see what's kind of weird. I'm not going to be too graphic, but if you're sitting on the toilet, <laughs> do you really want that view? I mentioned earlier that this house was built for somebody else and this is what they wanted. Diamante, the sales rep, Jennifer has already said they're working on fixing this. So don't freak out. It is going to get fixed. <laughs> And so here we have the master, the master suite. The master suite. Yes. Now this is an irregular shaped room, but wow, does it really work. You have a perfect spot to put a big king size bed right here. And then lots and lots of space. And this area here is perfect for a little sitting area, a little morning coffee because as you're sitting in here mentioned these windows this house is filled with windows and all the windows have a view of this beautiful pool yes and all the lighting notice all the lighting that we have you know the ceilings and everything um, they're controlled by vintage lighting controls so they're a really high-end lighting company so you've got a lot of Uh, give it a zoom in on all the different controls you have with the lighting so you can definitely customize it now I generally like to save the owner suite and bath for last oh. but we're here okay. so let's go look at it you have to notice the marble floor. this is just wow the, the his and her closets so just you're not gonna have you will Okay, I've got to preface it. Most people will have a hard time filling all this up. I'm waiting for some of the YouTubers that are watching, I mean, the folks watching this on YouTube going, challenge accepted, we can fill that up. But look at the vanities here. You definitely have a little makeup set up area her. here. This is her vanity. This, this isn't the whole vanity. This is one person vanity. Right. So, wow, you can have your own little world right there. Space, very I'm just kind of checking out what's behind you right there. Just, wow, check out this tub. And the intricate, uh, the, the nice ceiling treatments. Yeah, this tub, I was, I was like, wow. This, I've never seen a completely round tub in a house before. This is a first for me. It happens, but wow, you could easily fit two people in there. 
and they kept the circle design all the way up to the top mm -hmm. and looking at this shower this shower is something unique got all your controls but if you get out of this shower and there's any spot of you that's still dirty, something's wrong. Because these, <laughs> these aren't little handles, these are jets. You have your wand, a rain shower there, but wait, there's more. A giant rain shower up top. So, and the tile work in the shower is just really neat. You have a shelf, so if you need a Take care of some leg issues. You got plenty of room. The built in uh, soap things. It's like, wow, this is just so cool. I mentioned the other vanity. So you can pretty much guess who this vanity is going to go to. Definitely. When you have all that <laughs> and then this. So, yeah, we know who's winning that fight. Yes. But beautiful vanities. And they carry this marble flooring all the way into the water closet. And just, I just can't get over how nice this is. And then his closet? Oh yeah, the other closet. Now really nice closet with windows. Now if you're watching this and noticing like, hey, there's no room for my long dresses. Mm -hmm. The builder is aware of that and they are going to be able to make some modifications to these closets to add some long dress space. Yes. Mention it again, this house was built specifically for someone else and they did not want that. So we're, they're gonna customize, semi-customize it a lot to make it more appealing to everybody else. Coming out into the, back into the entrance. And now we're going to go this You know, come in and um, put some shelving and stuff in there. Now, is this going to be temperature controlled too, or? It won't. I believe the buyer would need to do that. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Had to ask. The homeowner, yeah. But you can definitely get your stuff in there, mm -hmm. keep it separated, but still visible with these beautiful glass doors. Yes. Okay. Now, here we have our beautiful gourmet kitchen with double ovens. And all the appliances are Thermador. You love the Thermador brand. Mm -hmm. They have great reputation. Yes. And then you have over here the nice Thermador gas cooktop. With its grill plate. You don't know you need one until you actually have one. Yeah. To be able to do so your nice. eggs, heat up your tortillas. Pancakes. Yeah. It, they just come in handy. But beautiful vents. Mm-hmm. Like, matches the cabinet. Yes. Everything in here is high-end custom. And you've got, what I love about this too, is you have a sink in the island, and then you have a sink over here as well. Nice. So you can, you know, wash veggies or dishes, you know, whatever it is that you would like to do. Loving this, this farm sink, and it's the ceramic. You don't have to worry about it getting all scratched up like stainless steel does. I love the high-end thing. And I know you guys are like, when is he going to show the rest of this living space? So here we go. <laughs> well, let's not forget to show them. Oh. Oh, yeah, I will. Well, yeah, what is this? You don't see this very often. No, so this is a food warmer. Just wanted to point that out. And then for anybody that might be interested in the home, then we have all soft clothes. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, of course, your microwave. Yes. I just want to show the ceilings here that we're looking at. Oh, yes. Yeah, These floating ceilings. Wow. They got the real, let me step back here, try to soak some of this in. Here we go. That is super cool. I'm gonna be showing you more views of that because that's really, really neat. And this giant island with a beautiful granite on it. It's granite or quartz? I believe that's granite. Do you know if this is granite or quartz? That's granite. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. It is granite. But instead of having just an island and then somewhere else having a breakfast nook, they've got the breakfast nook built into the granite. I mean, into the island. So that is very cool. So there is the kitchen. Now there's something a little unique about the refrigerators, isn't there? Yes. This is not your standard production level refrigerator. You push it and it simply opens by itself. Well, 
very cool. So this is it's just a very clean look refrigerator, very modern. You're gonna see everything in this house has a very modern look to it. Very good. This is also Thermador. Everything in here is Thermador. And gotta show the pantry. I always get chewed out if I don't show the pantry. Yes, and the light comes on when you're in here. There's a little window that adds natural lighting as well. So Very cool. So you got plenty of we'll pantry space. Yes. There's, there's some more behind the door there too. Okay. So we got plenty of pantry and absolutely loving it. I mentioned on the outside about the mud room. Here's that door access coming in from uh, the breezeway. Plenty more cabinet space if you want to put rain gear, hats, you hang your backpacks up, put your shoes under there. I love seeing these features in the houses. Yes, and did you want to show the casita? I already did before we came in. Awesome. Okay. And then so this way over here, well, we, I guess did you show the thing here? Yes. Fire. But check out this fireplace. And it goes all the way up. Yeah. Very cool. It's already got some... Uh, like I said, the previous, the builders who helped design this house, they've got the TV over there and uh, love having this fireplace as functional and elegant at the same time. Definitely. Now this is a fun room. This is a bar slash game room area. All right, let's go check that out. Once again, I mentioned all these rooms have beautiful views of this pool and I'm a big pet peeve of which, well, one of my big pet peeves is which direction the house is facing. This house, the front of the house faces west. Now, the reason that's important is if I'm having happy hour on my back deck, I want the house creating natural shade for me and not burning me up even though I'm under a covered deck. This house is facing the correct direction, so as the evening hour comes, the house is creating natural shade and even during the summertime, it's like as the sun's going down, you want that shade coming over and even a little bit on the pool. But we're gonna show you a little more detail of that pool in a little bit, a little sneak peek of something else that's back there, but we'll get to that. <laughs> but a beautiful place, and like, man, you just put a couple of uh, shelves up there to put your glasses, show off what, uh, what uh, adult beverages you have, perfect place for a pool table, foosball, or just make this your lounge. Yeah. I love it. A little cocktail lounge. So now you're gonna enter the laundry room. Let me hit the lights here. All right. Love it. I really do like how some people go creative with the tile in the laundry room floor. That looks really neat. And with being a small space, you can get really creative as you want. It does have, let's see if I can show it on camera here, a little step down for just in case something goes wrong with your washer and dryer. You've got the drain right there and you don't have to worry about it messing up your beautiful cabinets. Speaking of which, plenty of cabinet spaces in this laundry room. Not used to seeing a laundry room this big and it does have a sink. This is a gorgeous room with eight foot doors everywhere. Now, this home is really built like a one and a half story. Mm -hmm. So we actually have another bedroom down. Okay. It's right over here. Alrighty. And that's on the first floor. So you do have a good sized bedroom. So if they need another, you know, two bedrooms down, this would be perfect. Mm -hmm. With a little mini walk-in closet. If that was a production home, that would be the full walk-in closet. Access to the, a full bath. Nice tile. And once again, they kept the tile going all the way up. Love it. This has a slider. So oh, it does have the pocket door right there. So. If you want this room open to the general public, you can. And before we go up to the second floor, if you, would you like to show the garage? Sure, let's go check out the garage. Because okay. it's just right down there. I showed the outside of it, but sometimes people don't realize just how big a three-car garage is. 
All right, and this is a doozy of a garage. You don't have to worry about will this garage be big enough to fit your full truck in. The answer is yes. Yes, it will. I mean, your vehicles will kind of stop right about where I'm at right now. And then all this extra space for if you wanted to do some hobby stuff, you can. Lots of storage. It is plumb for water softener. So uh, you can easily add that in. But this is a full-size garage. Love it. A little nook for whatever you want that nook to be for. But even checking out the tile work on the bottom part of the stairs. Sorry, it's a little dirty. And there's storage. Like oh, more storage? Yes. Cool. And now, this is such a great area up here because it's not a full two story. You know, the, the stairs doesn't go up very mm -hmm. high for somebody that doesn't really want a lot of stairs. Yeah. Just a few stairs, but it gives a perfect place for if you've got older kids or grandkids wanting to stay with you. Yeah. Um, perfect place for them to either set up their little mini living room. So you can have a little video game spot. They've got a place for the TV here. Still beautiful windows. And this bonus area for the kids. Oh. I'm sure they love that. Oh, okay. I didn't even see this first time. Okay. I'm sure there's a light switch somewhere. But a perfect little reading area. You can tuck away, throw some pillows, some blankets in there. And oh yeah, if my daughter was here, she'd be poking out that window right now. Going peekaboo. Yeah, so I'm trying to find the light for that, but no. well, while you're showing yeah. the <laughs> Yeah, we do have two other full-size bedrooms up here. Like I said, TV. Uh, and the ethernet ports are already there. Beautiful windows with great views. And this is a, I believe this is a Jack and Jill concept. Let's find out. Okay, we have full vanity. Once again, tile all the way up. No, it's not Jack and Jill. They both have their own closet and bathroom. All right, that's kind of neat. Yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> so here's the other bedroom with its own little mini walk-in closet. And bathroom. And its own private bathroom. So no having to share bathrooms. So you still have a full bath and with a tile all the way up. There's high-end cabinets everywhere. All right. Let's go ahead and head on out. And I want to see... Oh, got nice little storage space in here. Perfect little office. So, like I said, if you've, if you've got kiddos that need to be doing homework or teenagers, this is a perfect little place to put a desk. Just some storage. Like I said, they got some cleaning up to do still. Yeah, and it's controlled. It has its own AC control upstairs. Oh. Very nice. Two separate units. Cool. Yeah. All right. We have not been outside yet. So let's head out there and check it out. Let's see, do you have access from the bar? You sure do. All right. Now. No point in living in Texas if you can't enjoy the outside area. And you definitely have plenty of outside space here. Let's just soak that in a second. Very cool. Beautiful high-end ceiling fans. Lots of covered space. The tongue and groove. Yeah, the tongue and groove tile work. You've already got your built-in kitchen ready to go. Perfect place for happy hour and entertaining and this is a entertainer's house because we'll be serving drinks looking at this very nice all right let's go check out this beautiful pool love the flagstone work i mean you've got several different areas out here to just hang out and socialize 
I mean, you can have multiple things happening if you're hosting a big house party here. This is a perfect place for an outdoor dining room. Maybe trim up the oak trees a little bit, but just imagine sitting out here at a full table, hosting a dinner party with this space right here, mostly covered by the oak tree with this view. Very quiet and you have the infinity pool, little mini waterfall. I didn't see this earlier. Wow. That is neat. All right. And you can't have a beautiful pool like this without a hot tub. Because yes, it does, doesn't get cold cold here, except for on occasion, but even at 40 degrees at night and during the winter time, nothing wrong with a little hot tub action. I've got a hot tub in my house and it gets actually a lot of use. And I love the coloring they did of the pool. Got your step down, little shallow areas. Lots of landscaping already done, loving the sage. Oh wait, I mentioned a perfect place for a table to entertain over there. Well, there's another perfect place for a table and entertaining here with a pergola. So you've got options. This house is great for that. And speaking of options, they've got a little table built in on the ledge. So if you want to sit in the pool and have uh, an adult beverage there. Yes, I mentioned adult beverages a lot. We all have our ha hobbies. But a beautiful pool, I mean a uh, yard area with a wrought iron fence so you can see the natural landscaping around you. But check this out. How many homes has their basketball court? Let me see if I can see it. This is a beautifully done basketball court. I guess if you lived here, you have to become a Spurs fan or change that out. But beautiful option to have. Sun's coming out. Showcasing this, glad we're getting some good light now. We've had a lot of rain lately and it's nice to have a beautiful sunny day. Yep. If you want to keep the party going at night, there's plenty of lighting out here, couple of locations. So the party doesn't have to stop once the light, the sun goes down. All right. We're about wrapping up this tour here real soon. There's Miss Jennifer back there. She, she, she's not tall, but she's not as short as this video making her look like. This is just that big of a space. Uh, she's a little fun size, but she's not that fun size. I'm looking at this camera and you look like three feet tall oh, really? in this video, just because the ceilings are so high. They are very high, yes. I love it. People don't realize, I know the camera doesn't show how tall everything is until you get here. That's why these videos, just because you see this doesn't mean you're actually really seeing it. You need to come by and check this house out. I have no affiliation with Diamante. I am a local real estate agent specializing in marketing this area. Jennifer does work for Diamante, so she can be your home specialist. Yes. And if you don't have a realtor, I can help you with that. It costs you absolutely nothing to use a realtor. In fact, oftentimes I have a military rebate or other rebates I can do coming out of my commission going towards your closing costs. So don't, if you're seeing these videos and I'm showing a little value of what I do, do not hesitate to call me. I'm realizing time and time again that people are utilizing these videos. I get stopped and going, oh yeah, we're looking at this house because of you but you didn't call me. It's okay to call me. I've got a partner coming on. Uh, next month she starts, she's amazing, but that's gonna free up a little more of my time to help you. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. It costs you nothing and it adds a benefit, so. Definitely, and Jason's one of the best realtors I know. He is amazing and done extremely well, so I think you should call him. Yes, I appreciate that. And definitely check out Diamante. Wanna come in here and we'll do a little wrap up. I want you to talk a little bit more about 
why they should buy a Diamante home. Of course. And this is a perfect location for you to summarize just how much you like your builder. <laughs> I love Diamante. He is an amazing person himself. Um, he treats all of his employees like family, which says a lot about the reason they like when you don't see construction on one home, you will see construction to you know people working on our homes because he is so good to our trades as well. Um, we know what we're doing. We've been in business for over 30 years, and we know how to build a home. And we are design and build builders, so we also collaborate. So we all work together very well. Everybody he's hired either has a degree or has a, a lot of experience in their field. So that's another reason why you would want to work with us because we're, you know, we're all pretty experienced in what we do and extremely customer friendly. You'll get your calls answered no matter what time it is, um, email, uh, text, you know, whatever it is you need, we're there for you. Um, what else? We. We're just one of the best builders out there. And if you look through our website, you'll see some of the homes that we've built throughout the years at all different places, the canyons, um, Terra Bella, um, or Terramont, mm -hmm. and Bello. It, um, we're fixing to build a model home in Bello. Oh, you are? Okay, yes, good. Are, so I can't wait for Jason to bring you out to us there. And I would love to sit down with your owner and do an interview. I'm just starting to get into do that, interviews with the owners, because people don't realize how much of an intimate process that is to build a custom home. And if you're not comfortable with the owner of the company or the sales reps, then maybe it's not the right builder for you. So always pay attention. It's like how approachable is that owner? How easy it is to work with them? Because it's a relationship that often takes a year long and not just during the build process afterwards. You need to be confident that that builder is going to come back and do any repairs that are needed. So pay attention to that. Select your builder carefully. Yes, and you will love working with us, especially if you want to look into ICF. We have a lot of knowledge on that. We've built several commercial buildings ICF. We've built several homes ICF. Can you explain what an ICF is? Yeah, so that's, that's building the walls um, out of concrete opposed to wood. Mm -hmm. And they're 12 inch thick walls. And the benefit of an ICF home is, you know, number one, it's safe because the walls are solid. Um, so it's, it adds that extra strength for hurricanes, tornadoes. And don't worry, people coming from the West Coast, hurricanes don't hit here. <laughs> By the time they get to us, they are a tropical depression and yeah. it's don't no hurricanes hitting the greater San Antonio area. Yeah, and it adds a lot of energy efficiency to your home. So it does add that. It is about a 5% you know, more cost opposed to building in 100% wood, but it does add that extra value for energy efficiency. However, the way we build your home with wood we, you're gonna get just as much energy efficiency because we use the blown insulation. We use the best insulation, you know, the, the best construction that we can possibly do for energy efficiency and making sure that your, um, like air does not leak from your home from any, any parts of the home. So we do testing, third party testing. You know, we, so we're gonna make sure that you have a beautiful, well-built home that you're gonna love and you're going to be proud of. Just visit our website, diamanteluxuryhomes.com and check out our homes, and I'd love for, to hear from you. All right, that sounds like a good note to wrap it up. All right, thanks again, Miss Jennifer. And I will have their flyer on this slideshow as my final slide. Oh, great. <laughs> Feel free to tell them, you know, reach out to you in order to get to me. Exactly. You know, that is totally fine. All right, thank you, and uh, oh, appreciate the tour. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm wrapping it up now. All right, take care now. Okay. Bye. All right, that's going to wrap up the tour of this beautiful home built by Diamante. And in the, right in the Bernie area, but south of Bernie. And if you're looking for a home that's almost ready to move in, make sure you reach out to me. My phone number is going to be on the final screen. And as always, like, subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching my videos. All right, take care now.